Morning, well, it's about quarter to six and the big uh, the big guy's just coming up over the uh, Yorkshire walls but I'm up early because the bloody little bit of spring barley we've got drilled is just black over with crows every morning. Anyway, I've had a couple of shots and I'm just going with a kite or two and uh, some bags and some scarecrows just to keep them off but gas banger is in the middle of the field there and bloody hell they just get up get straight back down that's a waste of time but i think we're in for a couple of uh decent drying days so whether we're gonna get a bit of drilling done i don't know but yeah it's looking quite bright from a start it's looking quite nice in fact it's lovely but it's very very fresh Yeah, there's a serious amount of wildlife about this morning there's dozens of pheasants there's just a, a deer uh, where has it gone oh it's right at yon side now there's a deer just um, just leaped straight off a fence here beck's running at normal level because Chris it's been to its max this time it's uh, the amount of uh, water what's come down there this year is unbelievable probably a record breaker look at pheasants bloody hundreds of them look at this field here They're all in bottom round woods. I mean, they uh, they roost in these fir woods, so they'll be just coming out for the uh, covey of uh, English partridges just in front of us. About I'd say ten or a dozen, maybe. Yeah, I'm coming. Look at bloody crows on here. Look at them on this fresh barley. We did a. It was a week ago. We did. Um, oh, I don't know. A dozen breeds and it was just too wet it's like bottomless sand but uh, yeah look at bloody crows there we've never had crow damage like it to be honest whether it's whether it's because there's very little acreage drilled and this they're, they're sort of homing in on ours or when everybody else gets going which they should do soon in area I mean I ain't seen much much drilled but certain then there's more to feed on sort of thing but I'll give these a crack and uh, I'm going to put a couple of scarecrows, scarecrows on, whether they do any good I don't know, but if you don't try you don't know, do you? Yeah, beautiful morning, but very, very fresh. Sexy thing is he's heading off for, uh, well, maybe a bargain of, uh, bargain of the Easter old days for one of you. He's, uh, we bought a machine in a sale and bloody hell it was, it was for now and uh, we'll put our bit on and uh, someone will get a very very cheap machine so we'll uh, bank holiday special yeah, there was a toolbox on it wasn't there Just looking at this press, what we've we've picked up at East, Laughing Boys picked up a uh, uh, sale this morning, and we just we just can't see nothing wrong with it. It's DD rings. I mean, it's been stood around a bit. They've done nothing at all. DD rings are in real good order, all tight. All bearings are uh, are tight and very good. She's got leading tines, adjustable leading tines, uh, with shear ball protection. No, there's no paddles, but it is what it is, five and a half metre wide. No leaks on pipes or anything like that. Easter bargain price, three and a half thousand pounds. And he thinks it should be more. Well, both of them think it should be more, but we've made our wage and we're quite happy. If it was there, how much would it be if it was in their yard? Five, but it'd be a bloody six or eight. So yeah, come and grab yourself a bargain.
three and a half thousand pound. Just had this steel delivered and all. Another uh, we usually we usually deal. Well, there's these this steel, and then there's them two beams there. We usually deal with a with a firm and just religiously really just buy them. Anyway, decided to uh, just shop about a bit, and we went to our buyers group, and them beams here, which are 11 meters long. And it was the ex exact same grade of steel. Just by shopping about, I saved ninety pound a lump on them. So the moral of the story is: don't just stick with who you know. Because I don't know. Maybe nicey nicey on phone. Oh, we'll do this, Mr. Dove, and this and that. But you know, ninety quid's ninety quid, isn't it? And the hundred and hundred and hundred and eighty quid there. And how much dearer was that other little bundle? So but yeah. Working a bit of land up on bloody hell, it's wet. First time to get to yon end and knocking off, it's uh, where it's really low. It's not even taking, it's not taking me wheelings out. I'm, making, I'm just paddling, paddling the hell out of it. Uh, either end's all right, but no, she's a no no today, I'm afraid. So, yeah, yeah, I just thought a couple of days dry on this, it would go, oh, but definitely not. We're finding some of our sandy soils are absolutely full up as though it's, it's like a sponge and it, it seems to it's holding it in rather than letting it go down. I mean I'm making a mess here like so I'm gonna jack especially here you, know, you can see me wheeling so I mean I'll pull it to you on end and then uh, you know a couple of days dry I might make and I could get stuck I'm starting to go down now. making a mess one good thing about like this 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 is failed red the black grass what's grown because we never put the uh, obviously it's curb on because it never it never needed it because it was not there to put curb on um, it's let a lot of black grass chip so we'll have had a good kill with our glyphosate but I don't know you just don't know what to do at the minute I mean, the clock's ticking it's uh, is it April on Monday? Today's operation is we're taking this sandy bank off, which is this is blown over the years. This land here is that light in the real windy conditions, it blows. Um, we try to manage it as in as soon as we drill it, we roll it and, it, and try and make it pick up a bit, you know, and, and like you get a crust on top. And, uh, but what we're doing, we're taking this sandy bank over there where the floods have washed the uh, a great bowl into the field and cut its own path as the beck and straightened itself out but left us with a bloody great horrible bowl so what we're doing we're just filling it with soil to uh, to make the field a little bit better shaped sort of thing yeah we've been very very careful I am, well I am bothered about knocking that trailer but I've just been very very careful not to knock the new uh, DRT because no one's bent it yet and I don't want to be the first one It's still quite wet, we are cutting roots where he is now. 
but it's just ah, oh, it's become a problem because going around it with everything sprayer, it's just like a ball egg. So we're just um, spending half a day shifting this soil and uh, making it right. Yeah, this just used the beck used to come around here and it's cut into a field in the plugs. Oh, look at the mess over there. It must have took like we've been, we must have put, I don't know, two or three hundred tonne of soil in there. And it's gone nowhere. It just really has. It's paddled into nothing. And uh, yeah, the amount of soil what's been cut there and eroded there is unbelievable. But it's like this powdery sand don't take a lot of the road in it, so it just washes away and caves in. So it's just made it a little bit easier for me spraying and we've just said that we're gonna know there's another sandy bank what we can do. Oh, this was a winter job really. And uh, maybe do a bit more this back end. We're demoing a, an Apico varied disc which we bought to sell actually. We just need something. It's a little bit extreme power in it in front of the drill combi, but we just don't need something just to put a bit of air and to just knock it so it can dry a bit of a bit of fresh surface area. And uh, I don't know, see what he says when he comes back, but looks like it's making an absolute fantastic job it really does it's like half a seed bed if you know what i mean it's four meters wide and he's carrying it on the uh, he's um carrying the roller actually we aren't we aren't got a lot of um uh weight on the flexi coil for two reasons one it'll bung up because all it's clean as a bust on it and it's a bit clay so it'll bung up and we don't want to uh, press it down at all I'll tell you what, I'm quite excited and it's maybe another one off the for sale list because see what he says when he gets back. Just looks like it's just trailed a little bit of rubbish with it though. So we'll see. What do you think? Like your level ground, does it? As in what? As in... Yeah, but they're rolls anyway, aren't they? Power will sort them out, won't it? Get it sticky. Yeah, but yeah, and that's the same. Are you bulldozing, or is that just? I mean, like a furrow ridge, aren't they? That's what I thought it'd be better going crossway over. Well, maybe it's the worst bit of field, isn't it? Yeah. This is where it flooded here, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, this field, all of it was it disappeared one day. Uh, the beck came over and it came across there, and it just, it just sort of was a sea. So the thousands of tons of water has compacted it, and it's still. We just need to put a bit of life into it. Are you bunging up at all in the middle? Not really bunging up. Because you can take a bit of tilt off, which will make it a little bit less savage. I would say you're at maximum tilt. But how big a job is this? I don't know. Yeah, well, this is it. He's making a right job with it. I'll have a word with him at your end. But it's just boss at tractor, it really is. It's struggling a bit. Like I said, it's only 110 horsepower, so we really need a tractor about 140, 30, 40 horsepower. What'll fit them wheels, really. And pot, sort of give, put the old 6.5 a little bit into retirement. Bloody marvellous tractor. Come on, in you get. On floor. On floor. Hey, 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 hey. On floor. Come on. Good girl. Just having a ride about before I go for my tea. And it's nearly there. I think I'm gonna get up real early tomorrow morning and get get this one ticked off. And then maybe where Phil's working if it's dry, because it's drying like mad now. And uh, the clocks go back tonight, it's dull, so we lose an hour or get an hour. Losing that we're in bed, don't we? Right, if you like this channel, like and subscribe of a farm farm in East Yorkshire.